With this wig jig, we have the two different types of format of our um, drill holes. We've got the ones that are going bricks fashion in a regular pattern, and then we've got a semicircle of round array of, of holes. Again, it's got the, the semi drilled, the holes don't go all the way through, so it means you can actually move your jig around. We can do all sorts of patterns with this, um, and, and there is a, a, a whole host on the internet. If you, if you have a look for, for free patterns, there are a lot there. You can do flower patterns. You can do a tree pattern coming down into the base. That is the joy of having the both on one. Um, the holes are quite close together, so you, get, you can get the smaller, more refined detail within. So we're going to put our pegs in, A random, not a random, there, there's, it works on 12, the, the, a clock sort of setting, so you can set these out to get a regular pattern. And then you're going to take your wire, and again you want to set off, and I'm going to come down here just to get that little base, come here, and put your peg in the side. So you'd start off, then you can come round here and get your square part, and then you're going to go around and back round, round the centre and out. So you're creating your fly, flower shape. And again, if you prefer, which I do prefer because it, it, it gives you a much even feel, if you take the, the the jig around, keep your finger on to stop them jumping off that centre peg. And then you can come back down and go around your base and that will give you. So there's loads of patterns, um, you're, you're not limited. And then you, you'd play with that, splay those out and get your flower shape and that's your centaur light.